Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create trending African folktales videos using some free tool. I'm going to walk you through everything step by step. So this channel right here is doing similar thing. You can see it's having just uh, 13 videos and it's having close to over 60,000 subscribers. If you look at this, uh, this video is just about 4 months and it's having over 2 million views. There's another channel here also doing the same thing, Hot African Tales. You can see this video is just about 3 months having already over 5 million views and i'm going to walk you through how to do that we're going to start step by step from generating your ai images consistent ai images and then also how you can actually use ChatGPT to write your stories you don't need to go through any stress and then the audio as well you're going to use 11 laps at the end of this video i'm going to share some interesting resources with you so watch until the end i'm going to walk you through everything step by step so i use that method to create a video like this So we're actually going to create something like this, adding the subtitle and everything. I'm going to explain how you can do that. So I think we can now jump right into this. Now, the first thing we need to do is to get our video ideas. So that's the first step. You need to get your video ideas. And the good news is that ChatGPT is going to do that for, for us. How do you get your video ideas? Now, I'm going to share the prompt with you. Now, the first prompt we're going to use is to tell ChatGPT to give us some videos ideas. So here, I'm telling ChatGPT to give me some Animated video ideas for my YouTube channel. Now you need to come. You can be specific. Okay, you can be specific. Is it going to be a love story or whatever you want to do? You be specific, and you can indicate the settings over here. So with this prompt, just put in your settings. So I can put in the Zulu tribe of South Africa. So this is basically what I'm going to do. I want to use the Zulu tribe of South Africa. You can use whatever tribe you want. So what I'm going to happen is I'm just going to click on this. So ChatGPT is basically going to give me some ideas. You can see just straightforward ChatGPT gave me 20 ideas, which I can actually pick from. So you can see how amazing this is looking. So we have Echoes of Forbidden Love. We have Warriors of Hearts, a Zulu Romance, Hidden Flames, a Zulu Love Affair. So these are basically interesting uh, titles or topics we can actually use to write these stories. Now, what do we do next? We now need to generate or create this story. So now the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and then we will add ChatGPT to actually write a story for us. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to use this prompt and I'll arrange all this and I'll show you how you can get this. So watch this video to the end. So I'll paste this prompt here and say, I want you to write and write me an interesting African folk to using. So I'm going to say I am can pick any of these stories. Okay. Beneath the zero star, a love story. So let me just use the last one, 20. I'll copy this using the title. So I can just say title and let me just put this into quotes. Okay, so using this title, Beneath the Zulu Star, a love story. Now, I'm not done yet. What I'm going to say is that I want this to be very long. So let me just copy this line. So what I'm going to say next is that I'm telling ChatGPT that I want this in 20 chapters. By my case, let me just reduce this to just five chapters just to explain this. If you want to have this video in episode, then what you will do is that you can put it into 50 or 30 chapters. So you can pick the first five chapters to do episode one in that order. For the purpose of this video, let me just put it at just five chapters. And each chapter should not be less than what 30 words. You can uh, 300 words. You can save 250, whatever, depending on how long you want your video to be. Now, this is very interesting. I want to actually get AI image, the prompt I want to use to generate that. I'm going to use Meta AI to actually do that for you. So you don't have to go through any stress. I'm going to guide you through this. So I need to actually allow ChatGPT to give me those prompts so i'm going to add another command here so i'm also going to say that you should actually give me 
prompt that will help me generate AI images. So I'm going to paste this last part. I'll say also give me prompt to generate AI images for specific scene in the story. Include details like traditional clothing, culture artifacts, and environmental elements that reflect the specific culture. So you can see this is just the prompt I'm going to use. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how you can get the prompt at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and click on this. Oh, so we have all of five chapters. Okay, you can see the first part is chapter one. So the first chapter is the dance of destiny. So this is a topic beneath the Zulu star, a love story. So this is the story and under every chapter, you can see ChatGPT is going to give us a prompt that will help us generate image for that chapter. So you can see the chapter two is about the forbidden meetings. Then that also we're going to get a prompt that will help us to generate some images for that chapter three in the order. So I have up to chapter five and that is basically what I want, the test of time. And we have a prompt for that. Remember, if you want to generate more chapters like 50, 30, ChatGPT may not be able to do everything for you at once. So you may have to click on continue in order in order to get everything. Now that we have everything generated, we can actually go ahead and start working on this. Now, I can't work on everything because the chapter is quite very long. I'm going to show you the procedure you need to follow in order to do all that. Now, I'm actually going to generate some prompts. So, what I want to do is I want to just copy some part of this, the first prompt for the first chapter. And then we'll go to Meta AI. Remember, for Meta AI, it's free to use. So, when you first launch Meta AI, you basically, if you have a Facebook account, it's free. And then you just log in with your Facebook account. So, you can just go to Imagine and you can describe an image for meta so charge bt already give us the prompt so i'm just going to paste the prompt here so a zulu festival scene at night with a starry sky and all that so this is basically what charge bt gave me let me just hit enter you can see the images very amazing images if you live in south africa you can bear with me that this is how the zulu dress and this is quite very amazing now we have uh, four images you can expand this by clicking on it so you can see this is the full image now and then we can just click here to download it and meta here also give you an amazing way to create a short video or a short animated version of this so you can click on animate You can see and then you can equally animate this so you can include this in your videos as well and it's quite very very interesting so i'm just going to close this and then if you want to download more images you can see we have other images so you can just click expand and then download that so let me go ahead so i'll just go ahead and then download a few more And then I'm going to download this. Okay, so this is basically how you're going to generate all your images. Now, if you go back to the story we had in ChatGPT, the beginning is in the heart of Zulu Kingdom, beneath the vast span of star, African, whatever. So you can go through the story and then add uh, more images to that. You can use the same strategy and then generate more images for your scene. For the purpose of this, let me just stick to this. You can use this method, go through all the chapters and use the same prompt or the prompt for every chapter to generate your images. Now that we have our images, all we can do is to actually go to Canva and we join this together. And what we can do this with Canva. So Canva is free to use. If you create a free account, you have the first 30 days for free. You can get a pro version for free. But basically, with what we are going to do, even the free version should be enough for you. So now go to video. So this is where we're going to join our videos and add some few animations to that. So now we actually need to upload everything that we downloaded. So just go to upload here. Just click on the upload. And then click on upload files. So I'm going to select these four images and then click on open. Okay, we have our images uploaded to Canva, but we also need to get the AI voice or the voiceover for this video. Now we can actually copy this. So you can use 11 labs to do that. But if your story is long, then you may have to upgrade to uh, 11 labs premium. You, you have some uh, 
uh, affordable ones there are some affordable ones you can do i think for getting about forty thousand, the quota of forty thousand is actually going to give you about uh, just five dollars to do that i think for the first month you're going to do that for just a dollar but just so for the purpose of this video what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to copy just the first paragraph for this so what i'm going to do i want to include the topic just copy this first paragraph so you can do this for all remember if you go to canva if you go to 11 labs and then you have uh, you buy some subscription you can do very long videos so i'm going to paste this and i want to remove these parts okay so basically this is the heading of our video beneath the zulu star a love story i'm using just the first paragraph for this and then also you can select uh, the voice type so there are several voice type here let me just stick to raw and then click on generate speech So I'm going to download this and we also need to upload this back to Canva. So just go to upload the same method and upload the audio. So we have our audio. This is just about 35 seconds. You can have longer video. By the way, if you want to know, know the length of the video you're going to get, then you can actually go ahead and then select the entire script all the five chapters to get the accurate timing remember to remove the prompt from this so copy everything and just go to a website called words to time.com so you can just paste that right there and you can see it means i can get about 10 minutes from my five chapters but remember this will not be exactly accurate because i have my prompt in there so you can remove the prompt before you paste this here then you can get the length so imagine you're having a video about 20 chapters then you can have this in episode maybe 10 minutes long episode so this is basically what you can get if you want to do this the link to the resources will be at the description so now that we have our audio we have our images i'm actually going to go ahead and add my audio so my audio is added to the timeline now i can play this So it's same beneath the Zulu, Zulu star. So I can start adding my images based on that. So you can see these images have some stars in there. So all you have to do is to right click and then make this set as background. So you can see this, you can actually double click to reposition your images. So I actually want the stars to appear. So I just want to double click on this. And then you can drag your image down. I want the sky to appear a bit. So if you are okay with that, just click on done. Remember, the full length of our audio is about 35 seconds. So you can actually drag this and then you can adjust it until you get a 35 seconds. But we want to add more images. So what I'm going to do is that we have to select this image and animate this. We don't want to have a static image. So with this selected, go to animate. And then we're going to use one effect over here called brief. So just click on this. So you can see our image will appear to be moving or zooming in okay so the scaling over here you can actually work on the scaling drag and then do those repositioning so this is basically cool and then i can go back here once i play this so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some text for the title so just click on add title and then for the title you know already our video title is at the top here this is the title of our video beneath the zulu star so i can copy this and then come here and then paste it okay so i can actually change the font size i want to appear very bold so i'm going to use this font right here and then i want to break this into two lines so I want this to be a bit visible. So let me add some effect and I'm going to add some outline to this and change the outline to black. Okay. So if you want to actually work on the spacing, you can actually do that. Let me select the bottom part and then change the color for that. I prefer something like orange. See, and then I'm also going to go to 
the alignment and then close the space in a bit so this is basically what it's going to do you can actually animate this separately and we can use a typewriter effect on this so if you want to do something like that make sure you select and go to animate so let's go to animate here and then scroll down and then use a typewriter effect so it should give you something like this okay so basically what we're going to do is that once the voice is playing you can see it in the somewhere here mention the title so i can go to show timing and then just reposition that and align that like that so now if we play this So now, if you want to be adding the subtitle, basically, it's difficult. You can't do that in Canva at the moment. It's going to be manual. So I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of this video. So we can proceed by going ahead and adding more images. So now I can click on Add a New Page and then go to My Upload and then add a new image. Okay. So what we're going to do is that basically click and then keep adding your images until your video is done. You can reposition readjust that and then within every page you can add some transition so i always use the match and move transition which is very very amazing so add your pages until we get our 35 page uh, 35 seconds video so go and then add more images basically we are adding images based on what the story is saying and which chargebit is basically going to help you generate so chargebit will help you generate the stories just like that and then add this between that the match and move transition I'm going to add my last image here, which is here. I'm going to add my last image right here. So just double click to reposition this. And that's, you can see my video is about 22 uh, seconds, but we want 35. So you can just readjust this and then you can get your uh, 35 seconds video. I am going to add it much and move transition here. So our video is just about 35 seconds now. So that is basically all we want. And like I said, everything is now going to be animated. So once you play this video, you know where you are supposed to place the right image based on what the audio is saying Then you place the right images over there, just like that. It's easy to do. Once you are done with everything, all you need to do is to go ahead and then go to share and then you go to download. And then make sure you download this as mp4 that is a video format just click on that and then download this onto your pc once that is done it could be as long as you want you can see i just use some portion of this this chapter use just the first paragraph you can do this for all the remaining paragraphs all the remaining paragraphs here and then you're going to get a very long video using canva once this is done you downloaded it now for the subtitle i know you can do that with other software but in case you want to do this with adobe premiere then i'm going to leave a link to a video i did on how to generate captions or subtitles i'm going to leave the link at that at the description of this video you can see that is basically what i did i downloaded the video placed it in uh, adobe premiere and i was able to generate the subtitles for this video so you can equally do that and if you want to use CapCut, i know CapCut is easy to do so you can stick to CapCut or any other software that is good for you that you use to edit your video and then you can add your own subtitles like this like subscribe if you enjoyed this video give me a thumb up and share with somebody till i come away again and remember the resources and everything the prompt and everything will be at the description of video as i promise i'm sharing all everything with you at the description uh, your prompt and everything will be at the description so like subscribe and turn on post notification Till I come away again. Bye-bye.